I was trying to think of again of people who we could roast, but it made me go down the path of my top five like least favorite Packer players because there's going to be a Packer no matter what. And I think I settled on a list of the top five guys who who Jim just drove me crazy growing up. And there, there's plenty of guys from the 80s and 90s. I'm sure that people can drop in the comments Packers they did not like. Uh, even Packers fans who they they did not like these guys, but I thought it could be fun just for me to share with you guys and see see if you guys like if you guys could guess almost the top five Packers that I, I can't stand. I'll go five to one here. At number five, I actually have Mike McCarthy from from his coaching days. I, it's like there were, there's actually the the problem with the Packers is there's so many Packers players that I like. It's like I'm I'm thinking through people. I'm like, oh wait, I actually like BJ Rogers kind of like he's so he's jovial. He's like a big fat jovial guy. And then uh, Al Harris was a little annoying, but whenever whenever the Packers were kicking our ass and they'd go over to Mike McCarthy with that smug grin grin on the sideline, it's like, oh, I can't stand this guy. So McCarthy's five. Four, I don't think you guys would ever guess this in a million years. I know who it is. A million years. I don't think you could guess it. No, because we talked on the phone about it. Once. Oh, did I tell you? It's John Coon. It's John Coon. John Coon at number four. Ooh, because, yes. And the thing is, he almost never did anything. But we'd be down like 45 nothing. Ponda would have three or four interceptions. And he'd score. He'd go I'd to be, the end zone. Oh, yeah. I'd be sitting down in the basement like like hands hands in my head or head in my hands. Just like, what the hell is wrong with this franchise? And I'd look up and the Packs would be on the five-yard line. Coon would be doing a Lambo leap. I was like, oh, just fuck me. Like, like this is the worst the night ever. I remember when we were, it was Thursday night football after Bridgewater got hurt and we got murdered. I mean, murdered in Green Bay. And John Coon ran in the end zone to go up 40 points. And I just turned the TV off and went, fuck that guy. Like, like that was <laughs> the Coon chant. Oh, horrible. Three. From here, I wonder if Packers fans, you might know. Three. Jordy Nelson. Just yeah, kicked our be, ass. I think he's got to be. Yeah, he's got to be on. Kicked our ass all the time. He was part of the, the trio that would go and celebrate whenever we were getting our, our butts whooped by Green Bay. It was the McCarthy, Rogers, Nelson, like, group hug. They're jumping up and down. Two, Clay Matthews. Mm. He was just, uh, I mean, he was so good. Like, again, really talented guy, but always, always played well against the Vikings. So it seemed it was, you know, kind of a trash talker. And uh, this was during the period where the Packers beat us all the time. And then one has to be Aaron Rodgers, even though I like Rodgers. And again, I, I've really come to enjoy listening to him. Um, not that I think he's like this, not that not meaning like his ideology, but just like, I think he's funny. Um, but this is a guy who uh, maybe the maddest I've ever been watching a football game was Packers Lions Thursday night football when he threw the Hail Mary. Oh, yeah. Because we're in the middle of a playoff chase at that point with Green Bay. And I'm sitting here watching the game and Rodgers goes back, gets his face mask grabbed. Game should have been over, but Detroit's you know stupid. And when he threw that Hail Mary, I just remember going like, what the f And flipping out. Like, almost a tirade. Like, way too mad for a football game. And I called my cousin. I was just like, I can you believe this? They always get away with this. Rogers put me through hell for so long that even though I like him, he's still my number one hated Packer because he, he was the guy who owned us for so long. And it felt good when, you know, Zimmer played well against him most of the time. Um, but there was a long stretch where Rogers would just continuously beat down on us. Did you, does that, does that seem about right? Top five? Yeah. I mean, that, I, I mean, I bet you most, uh, most Packer fans will chime in and say, "Oh, those are my top five favorite yeah. players. Top five favorites. Top five favorite there'll players." Be, there'll be a lot of coon love in this. In this, in this you, you joined. Uh, you joined at a good time of like. Although we'll see with Jordan Love, and maybe Jordan Love makes that list very yeah, soon. You never know. But I'm happy you didn't have to go through too much of that. You know, Rogers, Nelson, McCarthy jumping around, beating the Vikings forty nothing. It was a, bad, a tough phase. Tough phase, Ziggy. So who would we roast uh, with with Tom Brady having been roasted as we set, talked about off the top of the show a lot? Which player in NFL history would we pick to put up and, and watch a roast? This is kind of a not necessarily someone you most hate, but could be that you could take it that way. Like who would you love to just see get destroyed on national television, Jack? I have to imagine we're going uh, with an AFC North rival, right? Yeah, I was I was, was going to go. With, so I would roast. Uh, I would personally roast Chris Johnson, the Till Titans running back. <laughs> what, for stepping on the towel? Because I think that he is single-handedly responsible for the Titans organization sucking the past like 10 years. Like the terrible towel. Because he stepped on like, the, the towel? The terrible towel curse is legitimate. Like you remember that year, they were the number one seed and they lost in the playoffs to Baltimore, which got us the home game in the AFC Championship. Yes. 
I think that would be the worst roast ever to watch, but it might be like, yeah, like after you. Like, after like you that, went, how do you roast Chris Johnson? Like, nobody else roasts Chris Johnson besides me. Uh, yeah, be one line. Yeah, like you, you curse the Titans. Though. Otherwise, I'm, I, I really have no idea what else you could say to Chris Johnson. Just no, like, me neither. Like you ruined the Titans ranch. Yeah, you ruined. It's, it's not even a joke. It. You just want people to say that over and over. Again. Can you imagine? That's it. People just walking up saying, "Yeah, just one at a time." You yeah. ruined the Titans franchise. The, the, the answer, the answer for me is easy. It's Eli Manning. Really? I would just love to see him just get murdered on stage. I mean, there's so many, there's so many things that you could say to Eli too. But he'd have a great sense of humor. He would, he he would handle it really yeah, I, well. I, too. I think that would be a lot of fun. I thought Eli you were going to go like Ray Lewis or something like. I mean, Ray no, Lewis, you could Ray, really. Ray Lewis. I mean, he'd get up and like punch you. <laughs> But Eli Manning would sit back, just and you could you could insult Eli Manning so easily. Too. Oh, you could, yeah. But <laughs> like, there's so many if things. you pick either of the Mannings, it's yeah, gonna be, it'll be a great night. I go, so okay, so you took the route of what would be a great night. Yeah, Eli Manning. I'd personally go Chris Johnson, <laughs> but then I'd go. I love that pick. I'd want to watch Eli Manning. I didn't even pick an Eli. That'd be great. And Eli would just be sitting there with kind of that goofy grin like, on the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, Ziggy, how about you? Who who would you pick? I think the best answer here has got to be prime time, right? Really? Especially with how this college coaching career is going. Get Deion Sanders up there. Deion would be look, fun. He'd I mean, the thing, he would handle for, it well, yeah. He'd handle it well. He's Here's the thing about the roast dynamic that you sort of have to keep in mind is you need someone who can make jokes back. I think EY Manning does that pretty well, but people often think, like, who's going to be the target? But you need someone who's going to be able to say funny stuff back or else it's just like beating up on some poor guy. <laughs> You know Deion Sanders is going to have something. And you know it's probably going to be pretty funny. And again, every year it seems he gives people more and more material that they can make fun of him for. Mm -hmm. I think that's the easiest pick. That's a good one. That's a good one. A good I, one. I think I think that the answer jumps off the jumps off the page with who what, you OJ? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Aaron Rodgers would just be <laughs> is that it? Phenomenal. Is it Aaron Rodgers? Yes, yes. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers right. would yeah. be a hey, now now Rodgers that that is the, the kind of person where it could be a night ruining kind of night. I was going back and forth with him and Eli Manning. But but Aaron Rodgers, I mean between you know between the family, the the, the vaccine, the the, retreat. the the retreats, the uh, I mean the jet stint. Like, like you could, you know, you could be up there on stage roasting him, and you just, just all of a sudden you stare at your clock. You're like three, two, one. And this has been going on longer than Aaron Rodgers. Jet yeah, career. like you, you could. I mean, you could like Aaron Rodgers could be forever. You like make a joke on stage, like drop back and fall, be like, oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh. I, and I think Aaron Rodgers too. I know, I know people really dislike him, and, and given that our following is mostly Packers fans. I'm sure a lot of people dislike Aaron Rodgers out of our listeners, but and yeah, he's a little. He sometimes can be a little bit, yeah, you know, manipulative. But I, I do I, over the years, I've come to to like him more and more. I just think he's funny, even though he is kind of a troublemaker. Now, as long as he didn't get too upset, I think you could be looking at a, a really fun night of roasting. If you have his friends go up there, like that, that would be fun. And he's the thing is when he goes up to quip back at you. It could be it could become personal. Let's ask the fans who would you most want to see get roasted? Me, Paul, or Ziggy? Oh, yeah. uh, the answer, they're gonna pick me. I mean, I that's, yeah, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's so obvious. No, I don't think there's gonna be a single person who picks Paul. There's gonna be some it, Ziggy, there's yeah. gonna be some Jack, there's gonna be one or <laughs> no, two people with the other yeah. guy. It'll be a mix of me and Ziggy, probably more Ziggy. I'd be shocked. I think almost any fan vote that we have for anything. The order will go in vote in terms of votes. Ziggy Jack Ball. Yeah, it doesn't agree. really matter what it has to be. Bachelor, <laughs> get roast, whatever it might be. Anything. Gosh, could you, could you just imagine having it? It would be so bad. <laughs> a, a, a public roast like that would be would be tough to. I mean, I think all three of us would handle it pretty. Oh well. yeah, that would be. Oh my gosh, you know, I, it, it got me thinking. I guys. get drunk for it. No, you have to be. Yeah, I get drunk for it. If you're, but you can't go too far, or else, or else I might clap back. That's gonna it. be yeah, yeah. 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 Gosh, I was actually planning on doing like 30 seconds of how I would roast Aaron Rodgers. And then I realized, and then I was like, no, you don't want to do that. I don't know. No, no. I, I was like thinking about it. And then I, you know, I was coming up with, I, it, you could really have fun with an Aaron Rodgers roast. And then I was like, wait a second. Like we're not, we're not throwing strays at Aaron Rodgers out here. Like I, I actually, again, I, 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 I like the guy, um, but it got me thinking a little bit. And if you guys don't mind, it's just this tangent just for a second here. I've been waiting to do this on I, the show I, for a while here at home. So you got to make this. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't worry. This will be good. 